Hi friends, this is Mohammad Jibran and welcome to our tutorial series for C Sharp and Microsoft Visual Studios. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, some of the more tools from our uh, toolbox. So suppose if you want to show some images in your software or your application, so how can you accomplish that? So to do that, we you need something known as a picture box. Okay, so we will go and search in our toolbox for an element or a tool known as the picture box which is over uh, here I will drag and drop and uh, let me just resize it for our convenience uh, fine ok done now you have this image box in your form uh, and, and now how to load an image into your form so for that click this small arrow over here and uh, choose image local resources then import then navigate to your image and hit open and once you see your image uh, which you cannot see it completely so let me show you what is our complete image it looks something like uh, this but uh, you can't see it over here so what's the problem the problem is our image size is very big so let us uh, arrange the size of our image in our picture box let me select the size mode and I will select the stretch image ok once you do that then our uh, image will be uh, arranged according to our uh, picture box ok so then we will try to run our um, application so this is our uh, application with the image into it okay so this is one way to load images into your uh, picture box and uh, i will show you one more method to do the same functionality so let me close it and i will uh, just remove this image clear okay and uh, i will again set this size to normal okay and then we will add one button to our form so that uh, whenever the user clicks this button <coughs> we will load that image in our picture box ok so first of all we will import that image in our uh, application so go to your solution explorer if you don't see your solution explorer go to your uh, view menu and in that select the solution explorer right click on your project add existing item and then again navigate to your image hit add and then your image will be added to your application now we can use it now double click the button ok before doing that we will just make some changes we will make the name of our we will make the text of our button as image and the name of our button as btn image so we will double click our button so our button click event pops up so when this event uh, occurs or whenever the user clicks this button what I want to do is I want to make my picture box one okay I just I will just show you the name of our um, picture box is picture box one okay so just forgot to tell you that now I will say whenever this button is clicked I want to make the picture box one's image equal to a new bit map oops a new bitmap bitmap is a function and in that we will pass the path of our image ok so this is the path of our Im uh, this is our image I will just select it and I will drag and drop it in, in between these codes now you have the location or the path of our uh, image into it ok so now whenever this button gets clicked we will load this image into our picture box so let's see if it works uh, but let me tell you we have one problem in our code which we will try to solve in uh, just a moment so <coughs> what I said whenever the user clicks this button we will show him that image and uh, you will see a problem in unto that uh, this button has been clicked but you see not the image but a part of it like which we have uh, observed in our previous example when we were uh, directly giving the image we were seeing just the a part of it we were not seeing the whole image 
so what we did over there is we arrange the size of our image according to our picture box so same thing we will be doing in our uh, uh, in our <coughs> code behind so to accomplish that uh, through coding we will say picture box 1 dot size mode equals picture box size mode dot stretch image okay just this one line will arrange your image according to the picture box so let me execute the program again so here you see your form and when I click this button now you see the whole image okay so what we added we added just one simple line which says to stretch our image according to our picture box okay so that was it about the picture box hope in the next tutorial i'll be showing you some of the more tools so till then thanks for watching the video and hope you liked it